right, for 79 days, oil has been flooding into the Gulf of Mexico, and conditions on the ground appear to be getting much, much worse. Now, there are stunning reports tonight that oil has now surfaced in Lake Pontchartrain, located just north of New Orleans. Now, this development has dealt a stunning psychological blow to residents of Louisiana who are scrambling to limit the environmental and economic damage of the spill. But the Obama administration appears more interested in containing the press than they are with containing the oil. A reporter with CBS News was recently told that if she and her camera crew did not stop filming near Venice, Louisiana, they'd be arrested. Take a look. This video was shot by the local parish government in South Pass. When we tried to reach the beach, seen here and covered in oil, a boat of BP contractors with two Coast Guard officers on board told us to turn around under threat of arrest. Now, in addition, the Washington Examiner is reporting that the White House sent two officials to meet with Plaquemines Parish President Billy Nungesser. According to Nungesser, their mission was to try to stop him from publicly criticizing the administration. So it looks like the Chicago Way is now taking over all along the Gulf Coast. Joining me now with the very latest on this disaster are Kate Obenshane from the Young America's Foundation, from the Fox Business Network, Sandra Smith. First of all, how stupid is this? Do they think in, in Texas, in Alabama, in Louisiana, in Florida, they're going to stop the press? They apparently do. They're doing this again and again, and they just CNN just had a report. What do you CNN, mean, who are okay, they? They're righteously indignant, which is shocking. Even the mainstream media is getting upset about the Obama administration cracking down. But they're saying now that you can't get within 65 feet of a boom or, or it's a, a felony, vessel. and you go, spent jail time and a forty thousand dollars. So they're actually trying to implement this just as much as the uh, the, res the restriction of the airspace. They also told yeah. media nobody can fly within three thousand feet of any of the oil spills, Sean, this isn't the first time that we've seen them try to keep us out of this. I, I, I find this amazing. First of all, the oil's coming on shore. Yeah. First of all, we're in 79 days. Now, I, I find this amazing. Apparently, the president is so busy, he's not going to stop till this oil spill stops. Well, he's going to spend four days in, in Vegas this week. Uh. You know, how many concerts has he been to? How many sporting teams has he had at the administration? How many times has he played right. golf? How many times has he said, I'm going to focus like a laser beam? And, is doing and, and now they're trying to stop Billy Nungesser from talking to Plaquemines Parish President when all he said, Sean, is he said, I've had to spend more of my time fighting the federal officials than I have fighting the oil spill. That's the sentiment felt by all and of these people And their line to there. him was, what do we have to do to keep you off of TV? He said, send me the help that I need. <laughs> so they sent something like two skimmers down just to shut him up. That's yeah. what they've been doing. Oh, what do I have to do to keep you off TV? Why? Because yeah. they don't want somebody actually calling attention to the fact this right. thing is still spewing oil. And, and now it's now it's in Lake Pontchartrain. I can tell you, Sean, I lived in Louisiana for many, many years, spent a lot of time on Lake Pontchartrain. They finally got that lake cleaned up. This is no small lake, 630 yeah. square miles. It, people fish in it there. They boat on Not it. Anymore. They swim in it. They build hotels around it. Restaurants are built on it. This is another blow to the good people of Louisiana well, and, and the look, tourism look, We industry. already saw on the July 4th weekend that, you know, tourism was off on all uh -huh. the Gulf beaches. You know, you get these globs. Look at that glob of oil on the screen right now. Look well, at this. Well, you know, we're hearing about town after town, Florida now. There are stories of all these towns that are coming up with these plans for how to stop the oil from coming on shore, but it's taking weeks and weeks for the federal for command con well, and control to give them the okay on it. I, I spoke to Governor Bobby Jindal for 25 minutes, and he is absolutely beside himself, yeah. li livid, because every single solitary effort that they could have put Im yeah. implemented yeah. from day one the federal government resisted. Why, why is the oil now getting into the lake? Why wasn't there a plan in place to stop that? They put a couple barges there in the streams to try to stop this, but then you get a few winds from this, the tropical storm, and all of a sudden you've got oil all in the right. lake and now. And why not There's streamline no the bureaucracy? Why not allow the localities who are coming up with these great ideas to implement it instead of having to go through all through BP officials, through Wait the Coast Guard officials? This is it, they, you've got to have enough lifeboats on, or life vests on. And exactly, stopping, and fire extinguishers, or you're not going to send skimmers out. Yeah. It's, this is why, well, this is a great example of why government doesn't solve these was, problems. It was day 71. There were 30-plus yeah. countries that offered assistance and help and skimmers and booms and, and mm -hmm. assistance to build barriers, all of which was rejected. Now, 12, uh, 13 of the 30 countries, they finally said day 71, all right, we'll accept your help. 
This is, isn't this too little, too late? And and now the problem is they've got all this boom laying in the water, covered, soaked with oil, because it has needing to be off. picked yeah. up. So what are they telling you? They're, you're already restricted. The boom is already about 40 feet, 40 feet out. Now they're, they're telling you you can't be in a certain distance of even that. There's going to be no pictures anymore. There's going to be no pictures of the birds, there the marshes. Absolutely. They don't want anybody to see it, Sean. I, I'm going to tell you something. There's no way that they are going to be able to stop the public from seeing oh, the impact no. uh, and their you level have, of incompetence. You have the press and you have officials who are saying, I'm willing to go to jail over this. This is I'm too important. To go to jail. And it's too important for people to know what's going on and for us to just start solving problems. There's mm -hmm. nothing just, worse for the people of Louisiana to not know what's going on. And if they're going to try to prevent the press, the people will get around look, it. we have a First Amendment. And there's, this is just clear well, trampling of I those mean, rights. What, what so I, much for transparency. But I'm trying to understand. We're 118 days out of an election. This is what I'm trying to understand. Yeah, I mean, it is. From a why not? solve the problem or instead of going to Vegas and hanging out raising money for Harry Reid and Barbara mm. Boxer and going to concerts and ball games and sports pictures and, oh, and then golfing and all this stuff, why don't you just go down there roll up your sleeves set up shop say I'm here to help oh, he's sending his wife now you know you hate to look oh, at it from, okay that's I'm really comforting <laughs> you hate to look at it from a political perspective but this is just yet another inept move oh, I mean go down there but right now his 38 percent approval among independents this has something but to do with that but isn't that surprising considering they, they did run a they tight Campaign. Brilliant campaigners, yeah, they, and then he read they his fall teleprompter. Apart. People think it didn't so work wrong. It's because he thinks he is invincible. He thinks nobody's going to check. Nobody's going to know these no, things that he's different. doing. You know what I think? It is? I think he, no. Well, I believe that too. But it's I believe the Chicago way. He, well, he also likes the idea of being president. Oh he likes the God. idea of people fainting. But the actual work in governing on the economy, on important stuff like creating jobs and solving this annoying problem, it's it's beneath him. You know, I think there's a lot of stuff that we don't know that's going on. I think that we're that they are keeping the media another, at arm's length for a reason yeah. because it is probably there are a lot of things that they don't want us to know. And another thing we don't know is who's telling all of these officials from BP and the Coast Guard not to let the president. Who's telling oh, them to clearly do that? the White House? This White House Admiral has Fed Allen. He already responded. He said it wasn't BP telling them to do this. Mm. I mean, this is a decision from the And the mainstream the media is so blaming Fed Allen. Uh, that part is almost comical. Oh, yeah. But this White House has had an iron grip over oh. everything that's happening. So it's nobody can say here. that they. They don't have control Every over this. day that passes and more oil that shows up on shore, people are getting. They are incompetent. Absolutely, absolutely, it's a disaster. But it's I more than know. incompetent. They are trampling basic rights. That's, well, they're trying to, but we're well, here. Right. We That's are, right. We and people are, are willing to go to jail right. to say, "Forget it. You're not going to let."